Sorry guys, should have done that first. Morning everyone. Uh, Brenda Carter here and welcome to day two of my daily videos. So, um, I didn't get a chance, well actually yesterday, which was probably a little more like last night, so I'll probably be doing these like during the day and then upload them at night when I get home to my computer. Right now, I'm not putting the time into editing, so you're getting the raw footage. I need to get a little better and faster at using, I have the Adobe Suite that I subscribe to. So, I do have Premiere, Pro, I think it's Premiere Pro. I do have access to Premiere Pro because I pay for the $50 subscription. And, um, but I need to learn it and I need to put the time in to learn it, to edit it, edit some stuff. So for right now, although I did see, I did end up subscribing, and I, I should look into this. I subscribed to, it's called Lumen 5 through AppSumo. And I have a free one year subscription and you can make videos on there. Now, I've not played around with it or anything like that, and the deal is over, but I really love AppSumo. You, they, they have some really cool deals that they provide for, like, you know, lifetime membership. Now, you do have to read the fine print because sometimes it's like you get the basic for a lifetime and then you have to upgrade anyways, but their deals are actually pretty awesome. I've gotten some really cool software through them. Anyways, I digress. So first of all, I'd like to put a disclaimer on this video that the opinions here are my opinions only. And this is my upper entrepreneur versus opportunist slash hustler video. And these are my, this is my opinion. So most people out there I would say unless you're employing people and bringing something new to the marketplace not, not even necessarily new but I would say biggest the two biggest things are employing people and bringing something new to the marketplace now I don't think you have to have both to be considered an entrepreneur but I do think you have to have at least to be doing at least one or the other. Everybody else I would say is a hustler or opportunist. So, however, or, you know, I think borderline too would be like, okay, so you're running a merch by Amazon business as opposed to, you know, I, I do all my work myself. I don't do all my work myself. I do have an outsourced design company. However, I still don't, would not consider myself an entrepreneur at that point because I'm not, I'm not employing someone directly, you know? So, you know, I'm not running a full business. It's just, I, I'm hustling. I'm making extra cash on the side. Even if it turns into be a lot of extra cash, I'm still taking advantage of an opportunity that was put in front of me. So it's not really, I wouldn't say that that's totally being an entrepreneur. Um, you know, another thing that would be, I would maybe consider someone to be an entrepreneur would be, um, you know, if they are someone that consistently finds loopholes in things. So like, I shouldn't say loopholes. That goes like kind of black hat-ish type thing. But if they're consistently trying to find new ways to do new things or to do old things, you know, and and bringing new stuff to the market once again, you're bringing something new to the marketplace. So there, they all go comes back to: Are you doing something unique or or employing people? And there's nothing wrong with. It. Trust me, I'm I'm not I'm small business. Now, okay, I'm going to get hung up on my words here, but 
if you are um, wow I guess I'm going to have to learn how to use Premiere Pro faster than I thought so if you're a oh, how can I put this Wow, I need to go back to my thoughts because I totally lost that thought. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to redo this video tonight. Uh, I, maybe I'll splice these two together or something. Because I had some good thoughts earlier. And then I totally like lost my, I got way ahead of my, my brain got ahead of my mouth That's what happened. So, you know, but I do think that, you know, a small business owner, they can be considered more of a hustler as well as opposed to an entrepreneur. Like I said, you know, I think an entrepreneur is like a, someone that's trying to invent new things, whether it's a hard product or software or an app or bring new games to the, the market. Um, whereas a hustler, they are someone that's taking advantage of platforms that are already out there and do, and they're kind of following what everybody else has done. So if you're watching me, it's possible you're looking for tips on how to start a hustle. So how to start selling stuff on eBay, how to start, um, which you're probably not going to find a lot here, but, um, or how to stay motivated, especially if you're a if you're self-employed. That's where I was going with that. So, someone that is running a hustle and self-employed, you're still considered a small business owner. But I don't know if I'd consider you an entrepreneur because you're not. You're you're just self-employed, you know. So. Don't take offense, anyone, please. That's just my thoughts. It's my opinion. And they are like buttholes. Everybody has one. So, um, on that note, I think I'm going to sign off for the day. If I think of anything tonight, I will record on the way home. If I think of anything during the day, I'll record on the way home. And... I'll upload, I'll splice these both together and upload it and cut out that big old pregnant pause that you won't even know is there because I cut it out. So, um, please subscribe or, and like and share and all those fun things that everybody tells you to do in every video. I, but I really do appreciate it. And, um, if you're interested, check out the links below. I will also try to remember to put a link to AppSumo. I kind of have a standard list of links, but I I really do like AppSumo. And I should kind of, um, maybe I'll start to kind of do a review on their deals that they come out. Um, you know, if you tend to sign up for everything that comes across your desk and you don't have a lot of money, stay off their email list. But, you know, because <laughs> it gets kind of tempting once in a while. But I do love their their service. And so I'll try to remember to add their link as well. And I will talk to you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe, and be productive. Bye. Have a great day.